continuing from my uh, previous videos on similar triangles, uh, I'm going to do a short example uh, on similar triangles. Now, the question is, find the value of x in the diagram. So you've got this diagram. So this, the length from here to here is x. This much is 10, this is 18, this is 12. You want to figure out x. So by just looking at the figure, I can say, uh, well, this length from year to year, the total length has to be x plus 10. Okay, so let me label the triangle. So this is triangle A, B, C, D, E. These are the points. Okay, now what can you say about uh, let me uh, suppose what can you say about this red triangle? Uh, okay, uh, what can you say about this triangle uh, A E B? Okay, so let me color that in a different color so that you can see what I mean. So this is what I mean. Let me color it, say thin or thick. Suppose let me make that blue. I'm talking about this triangle. This blue triangle. Look at this blue triangle and the mother triangle. Okay, so let me draw the mother triangle in a different color. So let me make it uh, which will be brighter, say brown. Okay. Say this is say I'm talking about this mother triangle. Okay, so yeah, look at these two triangles. Okay, so what can you say about these two triangles? Okay, so let me use a blue here. I'm talking about this mother triangle, so let me make my pencil pen a bit thinner. So let me use a different color. Okay, so I'm talking about triangle. I'll write the mother triangle first. A, D, C and triangle, the blue triangle is A, E, B. A, E, B. Now in these two triangles, one angle is a common angle. Okay, which is a common angle? So well, you can say, well, A is a common angle. Okay, this angle is in the blue triangle and also in the uh, mother triangle or the brown triangle. Now to prove two angles, two triangles to be similar, what I'm trying to prove is these two triangles are similar. So if you can prove the angles are equal, the triangles are similar. So this angle is a right angle, angle B is a right angle, and angle C is a right angle. So angle A is equal to angle A, okay? Angle B is equal to uh, angle uh, what A E B. Sorry, I should I should have written A E, not D A E B. Yeah. Okay. So angle A is equal to angle A, common angle. Okay. Angle C is equal to angle B. So these two, if this is say, if this is 90 and say this is X. Okay, let us say this is x, or oh, I'll not write x, because there will be confusion. Suppose this is say, this is a y, this measure of this angle is y, I hope you understand this would be 90 minus y. In the same way, if this is 90, if this is y, this would also be 90 minus y. So all the angles, or all the corresponding angles of these two triangles are congruent or equal. So you can say all corresponding angles are equal. Okay. Therefore, I can say triangle ABC, ADC, sorry, ADC is similar to triangle AEB. AEB. Now, if two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. So I can say. AE 
sorry a b over a b corresponds to a c a e a b over a c a b over a c is equal to e b e b over d c just like that so now just substitute what is a b so we know a b is x and what is a c a c is x plus 10 is equal to what is e b e b is 12 over d c which is 18 so now you just cross multiply so you can say okay 18 x is equal to 12 times x plus 10 I can have to do a little of algebra so this is 18 x is it open the bracket 12 times x is 12 x and 12 times 10 is 120 okay so we're taking away 12x from both sides if you take away 12x from this side you have to take away 12x from this side so you get 6x is equal to 120 now if you divide this side by 6 you have to divide this side by 6 so x is equal to 20 okay and it does make sense okay so if this is 20 this whole thing becomes 30 Okay, I'll show you how to check this answer. This 18, 18, can you understand? 18 is 12 plus 6. Okay, now 6, 6 is one third. So 6 is one third of, or 6 is half of 12. Okay, that's the way. Okay, so 18. 18 is 12 plus half of 6, which is, sorry, half of 12, which is 6. So 30 should be 20 plus half of 20, which is 10. Does that make sense? So this 30 is this whole number plus half of this number. That is 20 plus 10. So this is this whole number plus half of that, which is 80. So that's how you can check in a fast manner. See you in the next.